welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. This is the Valentine's one, as you can tell. Uh, we're here to try some spicy chocolate, not overly spicy, um, but we have the Arrow Truffle Dark Chocolate Chipotle. We also have the Zuzu Bean Hottie Chili and Cinnamon. And the Lint Excellence Chili and Dark Chocolate. So we're gonna be trying these. I'm just gonna go through in size of the packaging. And just wanted to thank everybody for watching again. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on social media. All the links will be below, as well as at the end of the video. And I was just dive right into it. So we're gonna try the Arrow Truffle Dark Chipotle one. Uh, nutritional facts, typical Arrow bar. Um, doesn't really have anything exceptional written on it. For those of you who are not familiar with Arrow, um, it's basically, I'll, I'll show you as well, but it's a milk chocolate, typically, um, chocolate bar that is formed with bubbles in the chocolate, giving it a airy um, kind of bubbly effect. Okay, so, <clears throat> not sure, can't really see it with this one because it's darker, but where are we here? There we are. Okay, focus that for you. But this is just one corner of the Arrow Dark Chocolate Chipotle. Yeah, it's, it's good. You can taste a little bit of heat at the end. Star Trek, oh, I find always does a nice touch with heat. I'm sure many others have found that too. Um, ingredients, sugar, unsweetened chocolate, modified milk ingredients, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, modified palm oil, soy, lecithin, natural flavor, polyglycerin, not polyglycerin, I can't even read that right now. Um, Ananto extract and paprika extract. So it doesn't actually say there's actually any pepper besides the paprika in here, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I found this at like Walmart and different grocery stores not carry this one. Um, next one I've got here. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on that one because the cinnamon might be a little overpowering when I do it. So the lint you can find pretty much in most places as well. Uh, gotta remember how to open these ones. This one has um, what are the ingredients here: sugar, cocoa. Um, Mass, cocoa butter, milk ingredients, soya, natural chili flavors, artificial flavor. May contain peanuts, hazelnuts, and almonds. For those of you who may not have ever had lint chocolate before, it's... I wouldn't say high-end chocolate, but it's a higher brand than some. With nice shiny packaging. They spend so much time packaging these things just to be ripped open. Okay, pull this out a bit if I can. There's the chocolate. Pretty much one square.
Definitely got that rich dark chocolate taste. Not a whole lot of heat though. Um, like that you can taste the chili, kind of like as a after afterthought. The uh, arrow actually has more heat to it, which is not surprising. Well, it is kind of, but because the lid doesn't really say what peppers it has in it, it just it's just pepper chili. Uh, so it could be any chili pepper. Um, a little bit of flavoring now. I don't know if that's left over from the arrow or not, because it's hard to tell the difference at the moment. But, okay, so the Zuzu bean, dark chocolate hottie with yerba meat, chili, and cinnamon. 71% cacao. It's vegan and gluten-free. USDA organic for uh, ingredients. Cocoa mass, raw cane sugar, cocoa butter, Cinnamon, yerba mate, vanilla, chili peppers, may contain milk, tree nuts, and peanuts. Well, so it's chocolate, it should contain milk, you know, think. This is from Made of Vancouver. Okay. So let's give this a try. Of course, another shiny tinfoil packaging. Good way to keep chocolate safe and Oh, little squares, no real discernible design on these ones, except for the line work. A little more square on this, but more like two and a bit squares. So. Definitely taste the cinnamon added to it. Really kicking in now. <clears throat> mm. Chocolate's good. Cinnamon kicks in quite powerful at the end on you after the chocolate's kind of gone. Not a bad way, but more than I expected it to do. It's really tasty chocolate bar, though. So each one of these cost roughly about four bucks, depending on where you are, um, where you get them from. Like I said, the arrow and the lint you can get at most stores like Walmart, grocery stores, um, anybody that carries chocolates, more or less. The Cinnamon one. Only place I've ever seen it, and I just happened to run across it the other day, was at uh, a bulk food shop. And I was went in, figured I'd check out, see what they had to offer for spice, and ran across that. So lucked out. But like I said it's not overly spicy. Nothing I've had today has been, but it's a good spice. Like it's something. Anybody who likes a little bit of spice on their food would be able to handle. It's definitely uh, an interesting collection. And on that note, I will bid you goodbye. But don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Soulful Blaze, Facebook at Trial by Fire and Soulful Blaze. It has that uh, underscore title. And on Instagram at TBF, uh, 
so full blaze and obviously you watch us on youtube so like subscribe follow keep in touch watch for new videos and just enjoy watching me eat spicy stuff i guess <laughs> now wait a minute you didn't think my video was gonna be done that quick did you no 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 i got more for you i'm going to have some cheetos flaming hot mac and cheese as well so i'm gonna do a quick uh make of this and we'll try this out as well Definitely red. I smell the uh, Cheeto scent off of it right now. here. You can see it definitely uh, is flaming hot Cheetos red. It's starting to thicken up a little bit more. Hopefully it thickens up a bit. Not as uh, powdery in a normal, pretty normal mac and cheese, so we'll have to see. Okay, so we're back. I have the mac and cheese. About to find out how it tastes. Ooh. It actually does have a bite to it, which is nice. <clears throat> oh, wow. Stronger than the uh, Cheetos themselves. I was actually going to add some of my own personal hot sauce I've made if this wasn't any degree of heat, but this is nice. I usually like my mac and cheese with some spice. But this is uh, definitely worth it. Hmm. Not overly cheesy, but it's got the, the touch of cheese flavor, the heat. So it's your basic mac and cheese in this at sense, but with a nice heat from the uh, the powder. Definitely not a put you down on the floor heat, kick your ass type heat, but it's still a good heat. But it's a definite clear out your sinuses heat. Um, I would recommend it. Thumbs up. <clears throat> being a hold of some of it but definitely a good heat i'm going to finish enjoying this and hope all of you out there have a great valentine's day and continue to watch don't forget to ch check us out on social media subscribe like follow enjoy the videos comment i'll comment back if you comment to me um and upon a friend's uh, suggestion uh Thank you, Jen. I didn't even think about it. She had suggested about making up a Amazon wish list. So I just went through and found everything spicy I could think of that would look actually look interesting on um, both the Canadian and American sites. So some don't actually have images when you look at it, depending where you're coming from. But uh, yeah, so I'll put the link to that below as well. Take care. Okay, so on a side note, the heat definitely increases as you eat this stuff, which is really good. Uh, it does make for an interesting taste now i'm gonna try and something here the uh i think it's gonna turn that way the spicy milk so, uh, oh <coughs> mm, definitely uh spicy got some heat to it enjoy <laughs> Thank you.
Don't forget to follow, like, share, subscribe, and notify for on all social media.